Check. Check. Check cool. them levels, man. Check, 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 All check, right. check. Back on the podcast. Um, Sounds a bit better. How, how's my thing reading? Am I going over the red zone? Yep. Check me fucking out like you fucking twat. Couldn't fucking hell, mate. All right. Yo, we're back. yo, yo, here we go. Check, check, check. No, that's good, man. That's All good. Right, we're back on the, we're back on the podcast, um, eating the same snacks. But seaweed, this time, seaweed this time, sakata, spicy cottage cheese, pumpkin, harissa hummus. All right, we got yeah, his idea, <laughs> his idea. Um, always shouts to B and H Smooth. Shouts to Skinny Cow. We always we always got to pay shout outs to Skinny Cow, keeping everyone fucking in shape on the daily. Mm. Now, um, with the light, last podcast, a lot of people actually liked it to be. Out of surprise, yeah. well, not out of surprise, because I knew it was dope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was dope, but um, I was actually happy with it. Like it was dope. Like I was listening to it at one stage, thinking like, "Fuck, we nailed that shit." Like it was just dope, and people enjoyed it. But that gets me thinking, man. Like how people, often? How often though? If we just like like all the times we walk somewhere and talk. Yeah. If we have like a, just a recording. Yeah, dude. Like, like people like being in on these conversations. I know. So that's why we do this. That's why we do it. I'm not doing it for views. Not. Or, I'm not doing it for views, but like. Saying that, I'm like, it's not entirely true because we're doing it to help other people. So the more views it gets, mm. it's kind of like a good thing, right? Mm, mm. And like, there's not that many negative fucking comments in the comment section about maybe the helmet, dude, <laughs> take your helmet off. That's why I'm wearing the helmet, mate, to piss you off. <laughs> you know what I mean? What a weird kind, eh? Like, oh, well. how does me wearing a, f- an, a helmet affect you? Dude, the bikes are right there. The, bu- like, the bikes are right there. Like, like, like I like wearing a helmet. Mm. It makes me feel good. I don't know if it's a self <laughs> I don't know if it's a self confidence thing or something, but it makes me feel good. And Protect um dome. what's been, I'll talk about what's been happening with me for the last yeah. week and then you go on whatever you've been doing oh, for the last week. Where, where you been at? I haven't seen oh, you for a fuck while. Nice mate. Thanks for the question, huh? <laughs> all good, all Thanks good. for the question, Bruzzy. Um last week I was in Sydney for the John North um seminar, uh Attitude Nation seminar. It was fucking dope, dude. It was legit one of the best fucking it was one of the best experiences of my life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And it was sick. I don't know why I was so sick. I'm not even an Olympic lifter and it was sick, dude. Because like, first off, I'll just drop what I did and then I'll talk about the seminar yeah, in, yeah. In, after you talk about what you did, just in briefly. So I had the John Nelson seminar. Stay with Chris A from Iron Lifestyle. Shouts to him. He's actually in Vegas right now for the Olympia. Um, it was fucking sick. Like, Sydney, I don't know about Sydney. If you're from Sydney in Australia, I'm not a fan of Sydney. Sydney is very, it seems superficial to me. It seems very, like, looks dope on the outside, but on the inside, it's very... Mm. Once, once you start walking the streets... It's a me, bit it's, iffy, it's man. Not nice. It's not, not as nice. Co- well, it's cultured. In, in comparison to Melbourne, once you start walking the streets, for me, I'm just not like not as much as a fan. But that's preference, man. Like, people love Sydney. Yeah, people... Like, good on you. Like, people, good on, good on you. Like, not hating if you love Sydney mm. and that's where you're from, but, like, Melbourne's just got culture for days, man. Like... Wait, let me see if this. I'm still set up. Melbourne's just got culture for days, bro. Like big time culture. Yeah, respect. You, you can go. You can go one suburb north, one suburb south. Everything's of the city, different. It's just completely Multi- different. It's like food. it reminds me of London, bro. Like I'm not. I've never been to London, <laughs> but like all my mates from London say that yeah, yeah, the closest city to London in Australia is Melbourne, because every single cunt you meet, especially in the city, is not from. It's no one's from Melbourne, bro. Yeah, yeah, no true. one's from Melbourne. Everyone true. outside the city, maybe you might find a couple of cunts from Melbourne. Yeah, from Melbourne. It's from Melbourne. It like it's just like one in every five cunts is from Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Like it's sick how many fucking people are from different. Mm-hmm. Like it just makes it makes such good for a good city. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so that's what happened to me with Sydney with Chris A, Attitude Nation, John North, fucking you know, seminar. What, wait, what now, what about you? Me. What are you doing the last uh, week? What have been doing? I've um, been working too. I had a couple of days off work because working. Yeah, there, on, there on was that, no work for me. Had the but flu, was a bit sick. Had a couple of days off work. Girlfriend brought me some food. It's pretty good. Caught up on just like mindless bullshit movies that you just download off like, you know. What movie? Pirate band stuff. Uh, the Edge of Tomorrow. Tom Cruise. Not a bad movie, huh? It was actually alright, dude. It was yeah. actually alright. Then, like, then I watched some dope, um, like 1972... Science fiction, like Russian science fiction film Solaris, gorgeous movie, man. It's based on the book. Books are like translated. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. If you like, if you watch that and pay like hundred percent attention to it, there is so many like, just like gorgeous. What's up? Yeah, yeah gorgeous, gorgeous scenes. Anyway, you better watch that. Bit of movie. Your voice, anyway, better. Someone hasn't that, that, haven't had enough caffeine, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Other than that, we're skydiving yesterday. I do it like sports skydiver. Jump every now and again. Haven't been for a professional skydiver. Well, I don't know. Professional. <laughs> Skydiver. And like, I haven't been for a few weeks just because like my shoulders been like giving me a bit of hassle. But yeah, went yesterday, man. Did four jumps, like 
like pretty cruisy, pretty cruisy. Got mates that did like seven or eight yesterday. But dude, it's just so gorgeous, man. Like, and that's the thing. As if like, you have dude, hobbies, dude. What? As if you have hobbies, huh? Bro, like, I, 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 I didn't even think about the gym. Like, nothing, nothing, not once. You weren't when, thinking when, about when getting the palm dinner, when you're had, up there and shit. You weren't thinking about had, your muscles getting nah, fucked man, up. No, no, no. And also, like, your gains. some girl made cookies, other cookies, grass cookies, by the way. Shout out to Sarah. And yeah, we went up for like a mad palmer as well at night time. But dude, it's just. You track like, it, bro? But, no. I don't, even, I don't even know, dude. Okay, no. I don't we even have know. to but work anyway, on that. Anyway, 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 we have to work on that. Anyway, anyway. But, um, yeah, like, dude, just find something that you really fucking enjoy. Okay, dude. calm down. It's, just, oh, <laughs> it's the start of the podcast, you got, dude. You got no don't be dropping bombs like that straight away, dude. <laughs> dude, you got calm no, down, you got no calm idea, down. man. I hadn't been for a while. Yeah, keep and just, like, on my, like, the first ride up in the plane, like, we're getting up there and it's just, like, like it gets familiar when you get I haven't, I haven't been for a few weeks. I'm a little bit nervous, you know what I mean? And the moment you get out that door, dude, it's just, like, nothing exists. And that, 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 that feeling, I'm sure, is like similar across... Talking to the mic, I, I am, you, man. I am. I'm talking. I'm talking. Twist it so like you've got, you got that here. side Yo. action. Yo, but like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait but like, you know what I mean? That's good. That's good. That's good. It's good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure that... Yeah, you're like, good now. You're good now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that people who have other hobbies that they really, really enjoy get the same feeling. It's just... For me, it's just that the moment that you leave that door and you see like... Yeah, like, like you get those indoors like it's yeah. just like don't, jumping don't, out of a plane dude, dude, you know, yeah but I mean it's not, even, it's not even the fact that you're jumping out of a plane with your mates and you're just having fun and that's what you do for fun it's it's that I'm just enjoying something like I'm doing something for pure enjoyment yeah, it's you sick. know what I mean like obviously we go, we, you go to the gym because you enjoy the gym dude yeah, you know what I mean? you enjoy, you enjoy most of the time but that, <laughs> but that's what I mean you know what I mean there is like you invest time and sometimes it's shitty and I'm sure that's like with skydiving but you do get those moments when you're training or when it's I don't beautiful know, way and it's just man it's just like man it's just like this is like you just sit there like Fuck! <laughs> it's one of them fuck moments where, like the good ones though, where you're like, oh, I lo- like this is what mm, it's about. Mm, mm. When you look at the clock, you're like, fuck, it's been four hours, cunt. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, I don't, yeah, I don't, oh my god, I'll, I'll have happened. to go home now. I don't like, even know what? How happened. Anyway. You know what I mean? Like, it's over. Like, yeah. I could just train for hours. Like, it's sick. Hard to find though. <laughs> not, it, not very it, common in training. It is. It is. It is. Most know, of the time, I, I feel training like, man, I need to get the fuck out of here, dude. But, but yeah, man, like just, just. Not a bad thing, by the way. Get hobbies. Just keep doing shit. And all right, all right. Shit. Anyway, we let's got get it. off that. Let's get off that. So it's too heavy. With I think, start. like, the topic of today, we're going to talk about training, yeah? Talk about training a bit. I'm going to talk about training. Uh, yeah. Lane Gaines is going to talk about training. We're all going to talk about training, okay? <laughs> There's two of and us. I've been thinking about training a lot, right? Because, um, fucking hell, this fucking... I hate this fucking thing. I've been talking about training a lot because, like, the John North seminar, man, like, it really it kind of opened my eyes a bit. You know what I mean? Like... Mm. Sometimes yeah. I feel like in weightlifting, weightlift, when I say weightlifting, I don't mean specifically Olympic weightlifting, mm. but I feel like sometimes in just like the the, the, the barbell world, you know what I mean? Like powerlifting, yeah, weightlifting, yeah. Olympic lifting, CrossFit, there's just so much, there's so many cunts out there. And let me be, let me be honest, I, like I probably met a thousand, like let's say if I meet a thousand people mm. who lift weights, yep. 900 of them are cunts. 100% hands down. 900 of them are fucking cunts. Yep. Just n- negative, fuck weird, just weird cunts you just don't want to hang out with. Just people, put, to put it simply, they got it twisted. Okay, they got it twisted. Big time got it twisted, man. Like, I've met like some crazy twisted people, man. A lot of the people you want, they got it twisted, man. They just got it twisted. And then you'll meet 100 dudes that will be mates for life. Yeah. Just sick, yeah. like sick, 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 sick fucking people that you love, right? And um, I've already lost what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Cunts in weightlifting in okay, the barbell yeah. game. Man. I feel like there's just so many, like, it just, like, opened my eyes to the fact, like, for a while there I was traveling, I was thinking, like, you know, you kind of go, you get on this, like, lone Rocky Balboa wolf status where you're yeah. like, I'm taking over the Iron Game myself, yeah, you know, yeah. it's all me, 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 no community, no community. But then when you go to things like this seminar and shit, you yeah. realize, like, there's fucking, like... There's, there's like-minded people, there's, man. Th- there's, like, there's like-minded people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you're like, fuck, this is so refreshing. But that, that gives you uh, it gives you an extra level of vigor that you you can't find on your own. Like you, you can grind it out and you can be you can persevere Talk on your account. own. Dude, Talk I'm talking, line. it's gonna be loud. Yeah, into you, the you, mic, you bro, can, into the mic. You can persevere for as long as you want on your own, and that's great, but when you find other people it's sick, in dude. training, in life or whatever, it's you get this extra level. It's oh, like, dude, it's like there's it's nothing like, wrong dude, there's nothing like, wrong with relying like like you you shouldn't you shouldn't like I'll talk about this in further depth, but you shouldn't need to rely on someone to train yeah, hard. Yeah, no, but there's no, no. nothing wrong with someone else improving your training. Yeah. yeah there's nothing no, wrong no. with me saying if I train with lean gains, generally I have a bit of more pep to my step in my session. Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm gonna lift more weight, whatever whatever you want to say, but 
generally I, I train better. I'm yeah. in a better mood. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing wrong with saying that. And going to this John North seminar, it really just like I was like, fuck, I'm in a, a room full of like-minded people. Yeah. Like these people exist. Mm. Like and they're out there. They're, they're out there. You just have to go find them. Yeah. You need to find and people. Not, mm. It's like with anything in life. Like if you want to get good at something, you have to surround yourself with people who are good at it. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? But you got to have a diverse amount of friends in your life who do different things and shit. Mm. You can't all just be so focused on one thing. But you got to find like, there's nothing wrong. Like people want to be balanced. Oh, like last week we were talking about being balanced and mm. lifting is mm. not everything. But you know what I mean? When you're lifting, when I'm lifting, sometimes I feel like lifting is everything because I'm so submersed in the While lifting. you're doing it. While yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? There's nothing and wrong, like, that, there's nothing wrong with sitting there. Focus. I want to clarify that's, this. Dude, there's that's nothing, just focus. There's nothing wrong with like, like taking lifting very fucking seriously. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with taking skydiving equally as seriously. Mm. There's not, what I was trying to say last week, which I feel like I need to say now, is like, you just got to put it in perspective. You know what I mean? You, have, you need to take everything you do seriously. But you just got to put it in perspective, okay? You can't let one thing drag on. To, I've talked to this before. You can't let lifting, you know... Like, we won't... You can't let lifting take away from, like, the bigger picture. Yeah, exactly. You can't let skydiving take away from lifting. No. You can't let skydiving and lifting take away from your friends. Yeah. You can't take that... You know, it's all got to be... You've got to give everything focus. That's what mm, I'm trying to mm, say, mm. right? And we, and we, we have, we have to, like, touched on this before. But that that's the thing, man. Like, we talked about that last week, and it's... When you're lifting, you can be 100% committed, and that's it. Oh, Nothing else you is should going be. On. Nothing else is going Otherwise, on. what are you doing? And it's like when when we go. Let's say let's. What are you? Like, what are you? What, it's like when we go for a ride, like that's we're, we're just in that moment, dude. And we're you got to be in the moment. We're, we're just doing that. If you're at work, I mean, in the work moment, we've, we've discussed this before, but people really need to to get it through your head. Like, we like we still, when you, I'll check. You yeah, talk. we're like when you're at work, stop thinking about how you should be paying attention to work and just do. Just do it, man. I heard I heard this really good quote once, and it was like, "You can't find purpose in the abstract. You can only find purpose in the action of doing." You know what oh, I mean? That's sick. You, yeah, you can't just you can't just sit around and wank. Like I mean, we talk about a lot of stuff, but we go, we go out and we do. You, you got to be a mean? doer, man. Yeah, I know you, it sounds you, like you, you know, got to be a doer. Taking I'm, I'm, that movie, like I'm a fucking doer. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to be a doer, man. You do, and we we, we do harp on like. About that, maybe it'll be something that we you know, inadvertently. I know this kind of going every fucking session, hell, man. Like you fucking, don't listen. Shut the fuck up. All he talks about is the same fucking shit. I wish he would just show me his pre-workout meal. You know, pre-workout. I man. wish I wish he would just show me what his macros are. I wish he would just do- shut the fuck up, mate. That's not what it's about. You know, sometimes you just got to keep reiterating the same shit because, like, for a lot of cunts, they just never get it. Mm. And the more you say it, well, the more hopefully it goes through your fucking skull. Mm, mm. But back to the back to the John Law seminar. Talk, talk, it was talk. just sick. Like I've always been a fan of fucking weightlifting. Like I I love every single fucking weight like sport that involves the bar. You know what I mean? I love powerlifting, obviously. I love I I don't love bodybuilding in the sense like the sport itself, but I love bodybuilding training. People who do bodybuilding training, I love that shit. I love CrossFit. Oh, fuck, I love all of it, bro. I love Strongman. I love every single fucking thing. Bro, bro, but CrossFit isn't valid. Come on, mate. <laughs> we'll get into the CrossFit thing in a sec. I'm actually a big fan of CrossFit, okay? I'm a big fan of CrossFit, but I'm going to get into that. And I love all these weightlifting sports. And I feel like I feel like there's so much to learn. Like training, I feel like training, it's so broad, bro. Like it's so broad. Like so many times I see powerlifters. I'm not saying I'm strong, bro, but I, I see many powerlifters like only focusing on what other powerlifters are doing. Yeah, yeah, but they're yeah. missing what the Olympic lifters are doing. Yeah. They're missing what the CrossFitters are doing. Yeah. They're missing what the bodybuilders are doing. And they're yeah. not they're so like focused on that. They don't see the outside picture like oh ma- like what we were talking about before. Like maybe if I take something from the CrossFitters I can learn something. And I can take it. Yeah. You have to have an open mind. Maybe if I do something the weightlifting is doing, my squat might go up. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I do a bit of bodybuilding training, mm-hmm. it, you know, it might help. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you've got to be really open minded to that fact. And that's like what, that's why I'm saying like when you go to things like you have to put yourself in the oppo- in the in the moment the opportunity you have to put yourself in the position to learn. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh sure, I could have been like I'm not an Olympic lifter. Why would I go to John North seminar? But it's like nah, dude. Like imagine if I can learn a bit more about Olympic weightlifting. Yeah, yeah. Ha- like, it, not necess- I didn't go there necessarily to improve my snatch and clean and jerk. But what happens if I go there and I learn just a tiny bit more? That I can take away and I can be sitting there but thinking like, then, now what, I know a bit you, more. What if now I can there? I can tweak some things on my squat. Now I I've just got a bit more perspective on what other people are doing in yeah, other sports. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it, it, even that man, like you might not even go to that with the with the idea of learning more about Olympic lifting. You might be like, I'm just I just want to go learn and just see how this guy operates. I just want to see how he approaches everything and how he operates and how he he does what he does. Like this. Like yeah, obviously, obviously observe, he does. What, obviously man. he does what he does. Because he practices a fuckload, but how does he approach practicing a lot? Yeah. How, how does he approach his training 
and like what mindset? What's what, the what mi- can I I'm take after the mindset. mindset the dude. mindset, man. The mindset, and I feel like weightlifters, CrossFitters, some powerlifters, some yeah, they have good mindsets. The yeah. rest, I feel like the mindsets are fucked. Like weightlifting mindset is second to none. That's why I'm such a fan of it. Like. The way these weightlifters operate, man, like mentally, and the, the the training they do is like, I don't care what anyone says, bro, weightlifting training is on a fucking another level, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking amount of work them fuckers do mm. and just the shit they put themselves through to get better, mm. to add like kilos to their lifts mm. is insane, man. It's insane. And they've got the dopest fucking mindset. I just love it, man. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I feel like... The community in CrossFit and the community in weightlifting is just so much stronger than the community in powerlifting and bodybuilding. Mm. It's so much stronger, man, because they're all like-minded. They all they just all realize. They all get it, dude. Mm. It's mm. all about that community, man. Let's, yeah, and, and on community, I mean, let's talk about CrossFit for a second. A lot of people give CrossFit a lot of shit. Yeah, it's, but it's not... It's not you know what it's I, not compare, you know I think when people, it's not you know what I think when people tell me about CrossFit yeah. when they start complaining? Yeah. I feel like... I'll use me, for example. Everyone says, oh, doors. Oh, my God, I'm doing a... Your upper back's rounding when you deadlift, bro. You're going to pop. I've never been told by a strong person who deadlifts more than me to not round my back. Yeah. To my, round my upper back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, like, every, now that I think about it, no one who deadlifts more than me has told me not to round my back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Never, ever, 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 ever. Same thing with CrossFit. People look from the outside in and they're like, fucker, look at these aliens, cunt. I can't do that. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. I saw, I saw so some, what fuck, are they doing? They're just flapping around. They're just fucking around. Like, shit form, shit form, shit form. It's all shit form. It's like, shut the fuck up, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, these cunts are doing something you can't do. Like, yeah. if I took 100 people throughout the gym and I said, all right, do a pistol squat, no one would be able to do it. Mm. Oh, there'll be a few, you know, but not, not mm. how many average people, you know, mm. do a snatch. Is that a porn? Is that a porno? Is that a porn star, dude? Mm. You know, are you talking about pussy or what? Do a clean and jerk. How do I do that? Do a pull up. Oh, fucking keeping pull ups. Mate, can you, can you do a muscle up? Can you do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to look at this like their their things are televised, dude. Mm. Is powerlifting televised on national TV? No, bro. They're taking it to the next level, man. Mm. They're taking it to the next level. And the, the thing with CrossFitters are, and weightlifters to like most of them, they're so open minded, and that's mm. why their sport grows, bro. Yeah. They're like they'll take a powerlifting seminar, but they'll take an Olympic lifting seminar. Mm. They'll t- fuck it. They'll take it. They'll even take a fucking bodybuilding seminar. Yeah, they don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck. They're like whatever I can learn. Uh, I'll, just, I'll, I'll try learn. And take it in. You know I'll what I mean? It, it doesn't in. mean like I went to the John North seminar and go, "All right, this is what I'm doing now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. John North told me to do it. I have to do it. But no, fuck that. I was like, I took what I learned, mm. you know, and I'm sure I'm going to implement it. But I was like thinking in my head, like, what can I take out of this? And if, if you don't want to take, I think if you don't want to take anything technical out of CrossFit, because I mean, sure, like they take a majority of their things from gymnastics or or weightlifting or powerlifting, like. T- try and take the sense of community and the support they have. Community you know is I mean? everything. It, it hey. is crazy. Like community, it is, community like you, you is see, everything, bro. Dude, it is. You see how many people on like social media or even in real life that like get so hyped on CrossFit. Like, look it's, at that as, as the community as an aspect dude. of just like a super super strong community. Like it is. It is crazy, man. How much they love each other. You know what I mean? And love the idea of doing these massive and workouts hates together. Them. You know, and, and it's just it's hate almost on, like when you see a bunch of happy people. Guys. Yeah. I'm, 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 when I meet a gay guy, I'm like, fucking sick, can't do. Go for it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're doing you. I'm, just I'm because doing I'm not yeah. gay doesn't mean I'm going to fucking hate on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I always tell people, when you're looking, like, you can't hate on. So when someone else's choice mm. doesn't affect you, you should not give a fuck. Exactly. If another dude is gay and he's fucking his mate. How does that affect me? I'm like, fuck, shake his hand. Like, you go do it, bro. Go fuck that guy. Mm. That's sick. Mm. Sick. You're doing what you love. Go do it. Same with CrossFit. How does CrossFitters affect you? Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Their yeah. choice doesn't affect you. Yeah. That's another separate fucking rant anyway. And choices <laughs> and, you know, how to assess choices and fucking if people are fucking you up and shit. It's all separate fucking topic. But... We've got plenty of these to do, man. We'll just touch it next time. Yeah, we'll, t- we'll touch we've that plenty, next time. Plenty to do. Dab on that next plenty time. Plenty to do. But... You know, what I, you know what I see with weightlifters and crossfitters? Yeah, yeah. They know how to train, bro. I feel like powerlifting and bodybuilding, you know, there's such an overemphasis on programming. Mm. What program are you running, bro? Mm. You on Chico? Are you on fucking... Are you on that, bro? Mm, mm. You know what I mean? Are you on CMS or are you on the fucking f- the 24, bro? Come on. Are you doing small up? Are you doing small up training? Are you doing this? Well, how long does your program run for? Mm. How big is your block? Mm. Okay, what type of underwear do you do when you do your high bar squats? <laughs> Shit like that. It's just like, mate... Once again, we don't see that overemphasis on programming in Olympic lifting and um, CrossFit. It's almost like train. That's just, just like just, like you know. Act. So many famous act. quotes I can think of. Mm. You know, 
Like so many. What's the training session? Weightlifting. <laughs> what are we doing today in our CrossFit wad? We're CrossFitting. That's what we're doing, dude. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. How many times do you ask a bodybuilder or a powerlifter? What are you doing today, bro? Oh, oh what's happening sets, is I'm doing, I'm doing three 10, sets of 70% 12. on bench. I'm doing 10 sets of like fucking squats at 60%. I'm doing this. No, I've never heard a powerlifter go, I'm powerlifting. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's a fucking <laughs> moment. What, what's the work? Next time someone asks you what you're doing in your powerlifting workout, what are you doing? Just go, I'm powerlifting. They're going to go, <laughs> fucking hell. This, this this dude knows what's up. This He's guy gonna knows go, what's This up. is a sick cunt. You know what I mean? Mm. What are you doing? Your bodybuilding. We're bodybuilding, dude. Mm. You know what I mean? You're doing like there's so much on overemphasis on programming. Mm. I need and it's like they like I'm not saying programming's like like don't get it twisted, dude. Like I've I've seeked out other people to help me with programming. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, I've God, had coaches. Shout out to Eric Helms. Key. You know, Get like, some I've God. contacted Ben Esgro yeah. for the program. I contacted Bryce Lewis programming, but I can never seal the deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can never seal the deal. I just hate the idea of being spoon-fed information. Yeah. That's another separate topic. Yeah. On, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> on, yeah, 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 okay? Yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? There's such an overemphasis on programming. And people think the programming is the end or be all of their results. Yeah. And it's like, man, if you spent more time focusing on how to train, let yeah. that sink in. Focus on learning how to train. The way you go Not about it. The way you go about it, how, like, mm. exactly, the way you go about training, the way you approach training mentally, the way, you know, you hit your workouts, the focus, all of that, focus on how to train rather than the sets and reps and the period and the schemes and shit. Because you know how everyone always says, like, yeah. you can have the best program in the world, but if you don't put the work in, it's not going to work. Yeah. That's Definitely. true to some extent. That's true. Mm. You know what I mean? And strength to some point, I feel, is very... You don't have to always put 100% effort in, you know. If you follow a diligent program and you just apply effort when you need to, you'll get stronger. And there's plenty of cunts out there. But if you want to be that next level motherfucker, if you want to yeah. be that cunt that walks in the room and goes, fuck, I'm the best cunt here. Like, uh, you want to be gold medals, records, yeah, yeah, sick yeah, yeah, cunt, yeah. you know, even just up to your standard, yeah. you need to learn how to train. Mm. And that's almost the topic of the podcast, like learning how to train, learning how to go into every workout and go, I'm powerlifting, I'm weightlifting. I'm doing this, you know what I mean? And that, and that, that comes after time. You know, no, knowing see, to do and how to do it comes think after about it. time, you know, man. Like, think about it. Weightlifters and crossfitters and shit, this is smart. Like, yeah. now I think about it. Yeah. They never tell you, like, they go, like, you know, especially weight, what are we doing? Snatch yeah. clean jerk, we're weightlifting. Do you know what I mean? That's, 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 what, we're doing. that's what we're doing, dude. That's how we, oh, we might squat too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we might squat and front squat too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's, think about that, do you know what I mean? They don't put the overemphasis on the programming. Mm-hmm. With powerlifting, because there's so much an overemphasis on the program, no one, no one ever says I'm powerlifting. Mm-hmm. They, go, mm-hmm. they go straight, they tell you what they're doing on their program mm-hmm. rather than I'm powerlifting, you know? I'm doing 70%, I'm doing 30%. The oh, programming, 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 programming. Okay, we've, we've, we've talked about this, but I want to, like, we've, we've, we've talked about this programming idea, but I want to talk about with, with the different, uh, I guess, sub, like, sub-activities under the barbell. So, like, CrossFit, weightlifting, Olympic lifting, bodybuilding, like... I'm talking, man. It's working. It's working. You're not square on the mic, bro. <laughs> square. That, that the means fuck I'm up. maxing out, dude. I can't max out. I can't max out on a Sunday, dude. It doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen, dude. Um, I see a lot of people like we we did. We're not going to go too hard into it today, but a lot of people identifying with the barbell full stop. So you might be you might be training like pretty hard at weightlifting. You're weightlifting training, and then or let's say you're really into bodybuilding. You're training bodybuilding really hard, and all of a sudden an opportunity comes up to. Do some like powerlifting, do some Olympic lifting, and you've got it in your in your head that like I'm a bodybuilder, I'm good at all things gym. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. I'm good. At, I'm good at all things gym, but it's and then you go and you do Olympic lift, you weight lift, you powerlift or whatever, and like you, you sort of suck, man. You realize how you, <laughs> you, you sort of, you sort of suck when you enter a new sport. You got to you're a baby, man. Yeah, and you, regardless and, of whatever yeah, you've done, and you before. have to and you have to accept the fact that you're going to be a baby and not take it to heart. Not not you can't take not it be heart. devs like oh man, I'm like well, at I, least no, it's I, like I, I fifty. Feel, it's like dude, you're throwing a bar over your head and you're fucking got fifty kilos in your hands in an overhead squat. Like yeah, don't expect that shit to be easy. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Gonna, you're not just going to wake, you're not just gonna wake up and curls, snatch ninety curls and quarter squats to being able to snatch ninety kilos overhead and full depth squat man. Like yeah. You can't expect to do that, eh? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. takes time. But you've yeah. got to accept the fact but that But e- even in the reverse dude, let's say you let's say you were a powerlifter or a, or or a weightlifter and you wanted to become a bodybuilder and let's let's say you, you wanted yeah. to do three sets of twelve to fifteen yeah, yeah. and you got to like fucking six reps and you were like man like this yeah. is this is like I should be able to do this and now I feel shit because my work capacity is like I just can't not do bad. this. And it's like dude don't feel bad. You don't train like that. That's not what you've that's not what you've been specific for. Yeah. Ooh, I'll, change We're out. I'll change that. Thomas is going to change the battery. Okay. I'm going to keep talking. 
And I want to go back to the weightlifting because there's so much we can take away from weightlifting, people. So fucking much, dude. Like, you know, back to the programming thing. I love, like, I'm just going to keep emphasizing the point and just reiterating what I fucking said. What's the workout? I'm weightlifting. I'm powerlifting. I'm crossfitting. There's no overemphasis on the program. Yeah, the programming can make or break you to a certain extent, but, like, we- if you just keep training hard, keep putting in the yards, you'll get there. And we're going to get to more into specifics. Like, people always, like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I reckon I put on 50 kilos. Back. I have 50 kilos to my deadlift with no increase in body yeah. weight in about 12 weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fucked up. Are we filming? Yeah, we're filming. Okay, we're filming. we're filming. And to the naked eye, you know, people are going, oh, just smart programming. You know what I mean? But the more, like, all the gains I've made on the, de- and people go, oh, what about your squat, bro? How come you're not squatting over to, like, you're, I'm not putting the focus on the squat. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if I focus as much as I focused on the deadlift on the squat, my squat would be fucking better. But I don't. But I'm aware of it. I'm conscious of the fact that I'm not doing that. So one day I will put more focus on the squat. My squat's going up. You know what I mean? I still squatted at my max without about 10 weeks later. Do you know what I mean? So it's getting better. But I learned how to train. That's what I've learned. How, that's what I've really learned how to do this year. I've learned how to train. And I've learned the only way I learned how to train is I got out of my bubble. I got out of I got out of the powerlifting bubble. I got out of what everyone else. I looked onto different sports. I looked at CrossFit. I looked at weightlifting. I started following more weightlifters. I started looking at how these dudes train. Yeah. I started following max effort and like people shout out to Johnny Shank and shit. They always talk about max effort. People always go, oh, weightlifters, bro, max out every day. And then powerlifters will be like, you know what? I'm gonna work up to a training max every day of the week. Mm. That's what they get out of it. They don't understand. The, well, to a certain, you know, I want to go Bulgarian. I want to train like the Russians. And yeah. you've got to realize you're not a Russian. You're not a Bulgarian. You're not smoking a pack of ciggies a day in Bulgaria in a training camp, you know, cleaning and jerking, snatching. You're not, you're not that guy. But I'm not saying you can still take out some principles from it. You just have to be smart on how you apply them, okay? In powerlifting, I don't think it's wise to work to a training max every down the squat and deadlift. I don't think it is. I think it's a fad right now. And I think people are just following it because they think it's cool. Mm. It's going to fade out. Do you know what I mean? It's going to fade out because, one, I don't think it applies to powerlifting. Two, people don't know how to train. Yeah. Weightlifters know how to train, so they yeah. can clean and jerk, snatch, max every day, max back squat every day. They know how to train. They're experienced with it. Powerlifters, to me, that like everyone's going to say, oh, but you're fucking weak, Abdul. Like, you know I still have an opinion on it, okay? I know plenty of weak cunts who are very knowledgeable. Mm. So I today, I'm that weak cunt who's knowledgeable, <laughs> okay? I think, what was I saying? So about training maxes. Yeah, training maxes. I think training max is a very useful tool. Mm-hmm. Okay, but when I when I when I this is also another weightlifting concept: maximum and minimums. Yeah, I feel like you know what I mean. Like learn, live, learning how to train and realizing that all training really is yeah. is about your maximum and your minimum on whatever you're doing. Okay? Yeah, whatever lift you're doing, it's all about your maximum. It's all about your minimum. And that's what I learned when I learned how to train and I got like learned the fact of maximum and minimums. My deadlift went up. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because I didn't approach every session going. I, I used to approach to all the exactly sessions thinking this. like I always used to approach each session like I'm just going to push the maximum. Yeah. How many times do you say that? I'm going to do an attempt a new PR. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm going to yeah, go yeah. for that new. You know, and then do back offsets. <laughs> no fucking comment on RPE. <laughs> and then do back offsets, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to push it every session. That's what most people think. Pushing the maximum. Mm. They take 500 pounds. They can say, "How many reps can I do? Let's go for a PR." But you got to realize is you're forgetting about the minimum. Mm. You know what I mean? When I approached that increasing my deadlift, I was like, "How can I increase the minimum?" Mm. And in terms of minimum, I'm talking about like, regardless of the circumstances, to any sort of training session, what is your minimum deadlift? Like, I try to increase that. So let's say before I did the training cycle, my deadlift, like the deadlift number I could do on any day of the fucking week. That's my minimum. Any day of the week. Sleep, no sleep. You know, porn, no porn. Food, no food. Water, no... If you took me out of my bed at 2 a.m. after I've slept one hour... What can I pull? What can I pull? What can I pull? Any day of the week. Worse worse circumstances, worse circumstances to worse. What can I pull? And that's your minimum. And the only time my maximum went up is when I focused on building the fucking minimum. I'm talking like... And there's so many fucking ways to do it, but you just have to consciously approach every training session as I'm building the minimum. And it doesn't have to be minimum in terms of weight. It means minimum in terms of form. What's my worst form look like now? Yeah. And if you look at it and go, my worst form is as bad as my worst form six months ago, you haven't improved the minimum on your form. Yeah. Right now, if I look back at my squat seven months ago and look at the worst form I could do, good morning. If I look at it now... Still a good morning, but the degree <laughs> the degree of good morning is less. Yeah, so my yeah, minimum yeah, yeah. has yeah. gone up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
and my maximum's gone mm. up too. The best one I could do now, then, and the best one like, I can keep my. If I do a really good fucking squat, you know, I can keep my chest completely upright. Mm. You know what I mean? Back then, if I did a really, really good squat, it was still a bit collapsed. Yeah. So the maximum's gone up. Yeah. And you have to approach everything like you're building. You're building the minimum. When it comes time to push the maximum, push the maximum. And that's really what training programs always are. And th- like, think about it. Like, give me a sec. Like, yeah, think about yeah, it yeah. all. Think about a 10 week block periodization, you know? You're building the minimum the whole time. Fuck, bro. I don't want to do five sets of fucking 10. That's not cool, bro. That's not, high, that's not high, high fucking percentage, low volume. You're building the work capacity. The work capacity is just a tool to build the minimum. Okay, you're always building the minimum. You're building you're the whole training cycle up until fucking four weeks left. You're building the minimum, and then the volume drops back, the intensity goes up, and you push the maximum. Mm, okay, mm-hmm. even up to that last week before you do singles, you're still building the fucking minimum. Every session until that test is building the minimum. The day you test is the day you push the maximum. No other fucking time are you pushing the maximum in training. I don't care what anyone says about weightlifting, anything. The only time you're pushing the maximum is on meet day. After you taper. After you recover. Yeah, that's yeah. when you push it. And that's how you have to approach it. Okay? So then when you approach it like that, fuck, I feel like a wizard, man. Can't you pay me for this? <laughs> you know, I, my, only when you get into that fact and you accept the fact that the whole time you're pushing the minimum, yeah. the idea of being fresh for training goes out the fucking window. Yeah. Mind fuck right there, people. Done. The idea, <laughs> fuck, dude. I want to listen to this. Not even to lean games. This is straight raw passion. No, I want to talk. I talk. I'm, I'm on a roll yeah, right now. Yeah, Let keep, keep rolling. Keep rolling the I'll idea talk. of keep fatigue goes out the fucking window because you're not concerned about pushing the maximum every fucking day. Do you know what I mean? You're not concerned about hitting the new rep PRs. You're not concerned about that. Your con- only concern is pushing the minimum. And the minimum applies to every single fucking training session you ever do in your life. So you're not concerned because you know real life fatigue is a fucking, it's just a factor of life. You're not going to be fresh every day. Mm. You, should, you shouldn't even be seeking to be fresh. Sometimes you should, and now there are people going, oh, you fucking masochistic fuck. Like, you shouldn't even be seeking that feeling. You shouldn't be, it's an opportunity to get better when you wake up fatigued. Because you're building the minimum. You know what I mean? I feel so shit right now. How can I build that minimum so like next time I feel like shit, my minimum's gone up. Now, every single shit day I do, I can deadlift 500 pounds. That's my minimum number. Regardless mm. of sleep, that's my minimum. So yep. you fatigue, forget about it. When you start chasing, improving the minimum, mm. it goes out the window. Maximum, yeah, that's why you taper because you're concerned about the maximum. You taper, you back off on the volume, you taper to recover so you can push the maximum. To me, that's the only time you should worry about being fresh. Mm. Only time on meat day. That's the only time you should worry about being fresh. Yeah. When the maximum's about to get pushed, next 12, 13, fucking 20 weeks of your life is all you should be concerned about is pushing the minimum. Same with work. So how much can you handle? How much work can you handle? How much work in life can you handle? How much walking can you handle? How much sadness can you handle? Mm. It's all about pushing the minimum. And everyone and, and people think about this outside of training a lot. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, I'm going to work extra hours. I worked, remember when I used to work 12 hours a day? Now that I work eight hours a day, fuck, it feels like a breeze. But yeah, when I first yeah, started yeah, working yeah. eight hours a day, it was so fucking tough. Mm. But now, after doing six months of working 12 hours a day, I go back to eight hours a day. It's crazy, It's a, it's man. a it's laugh, Because you built the minimum on mm. your work capacity for I've, work. A good question for you. You talk. Oh, no, I've got a question for you. got a question for you. Because this is like... It, Interesting concept. You've come, you've come straight to. And have you read uh, Matthew Perriman's Squat Every Day? I've heard about it. I haven't read it. Though. You haven't read it. You haven't read it. Is that what he talks about? Yeah, that's basically exactly what he talks about. People, people well, might read. Everyone people, talks yeah, but people might read that book and be like, "Bro, like, like, what's my program there for squatting every day? Squatting to a max every day?" And what I took away from that book, excellent book, mind you. Go read it. Shout out to Matthew Perriman. Is find a minimum that you you know that you can go in and hit every day and try and work on that. Hit that minimum if you can do more work afterwards because you're feeling good. Fucking do it. If you if you can't if you can't hit that, don't. Just make sure you, the, the next day you're going to go in there and hit that minimum and work on increasing that minimum. That's all the minimum. That's dude. basically exactly Life's what. Last minimums and maximums. Yeah, everyone knows that. Shout out to John North. I, I, dude, I steal a lot of my shit from John North. I don't steal it, but a lot of my ideas come from people who podcast, and I listen to John North. Shout out to the weightlifting talk a lot. And people always talk about this minimum. Like that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? You got a smart idea. People will read that book and they go, fuck. The only thing they take away from it is, fuck, I need to max out every day on squat. Mm. What's, but you got to always remember, like, what's, what's your goal? Is your goal just to max out on squat? Or is your goal to do a three-lift powerlift me? Yeah. Is it to yeah. smash and clean a jerk? Mm. Is it to CrossFit? Okay? What I'm trying to say to you, what, I'm not trying to just go at you information that you just take and go, do the fucking said maximum minimum. I'm trying to give you ideas that you can plug into your head. This is the way I think about training. Mm. 
maybe it might help your training if you think like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You might get away from the PR, you know, the P, the P, the PR fucking fantasy world. PRs are a fucking fantasy, bro. They're a fucking fantasy. Like having hit, hitting casual, having a bad workout hitting, hitting is casual. also a fantasy. People say I have a bad workout. I'm like, if you realized what the minimum and maximum concept yeah. of just training was, your bad workout would now become a productive workout. Yeah. You'd be thinking, oh my God, I felt so fucking bad. But all I was doing that session was... Because when you feel so bad, yeah. it's like the session is almost dedicated mm. to building mm. your minimum. How much work can you handle when you mm. feel mm. so mm. fucking shit? No one would say I had a bad workout. But no one dude, would complain. Well, They'd be like, things, bro, dude, dude, I, feel, dude. I didn't sleep last night. I'm the best opportunity to build have, my minimum. But this is the thing. People have bad workouts and they ignore them. You get through it and you ignore it. I like Next time you have a bad workout, the session after your bad workout, think back when you're in, like, when you're in good spirits, think back to the bad workout yeah. and think how shitty you felt. Like, yeah. bit, like, you know, like back in the past, you've, you have a bad workout. I've had a bad workout. Talk and up. I forget about it, man. I forget about the workout. Like, literally just forget about it. It's gone. You know what I mean? It's just a number in the, in the, in the history books. Yeah, but true. unless you reflect on that, you, you, reflect you, on you, you reflect on it, you can learn from it. I think that's there's a, a reason thing. why you, like, you know what I mean? There's a reason. But I feel yeah. like there's a reason why you have a bad workout usually. Yeah, yeah. And you oh, got to no, realize there, 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 there always is. is. There always is. But, but if you can reflect on the mindset. I'm all about being happy. Yeah. And, you know, being happy, being positive. Yeah. Yeah. All this shit. I've I've been around the weightlifting game for like a baby amount of time. Let's think about it. Four, three, four years, right? True training. You know, I'm not one of these motherfuckers go, oh, well, I fucking, I started training when I was 14, but I didn't start properly training until two weeks ago. That's why yeah. I'm not where I want to be. Fuck that shit. I'm accountable for every fucking yeah. day I fucking trained. Yeah. And I'll never lie about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe I was doing some fucked up shit at the start. I was still in there, bro. Yeah. I was still in there. You're still training, dude. You know, you're still fucking training. But back to my point. I've already lost my point. <laughs> what was I talking about? I get uh, so jacked up. I've, I've had too much caffeine today. I get fucking all over the place, bro. Too many skinny cows. Um, you're just talking about maxing out, dude. That's, yeah. That's, that's it. Oh, I've been around the weight game for a long time. And I've seen, for the last four years, I've seen every single fad. I've seen clean eating. I've seen if it fits your macros. I've seen... You know, mm, mm. back offsets. I've seen maxing out. I've seen, you know, more balanced progression programs. Now, everyone, everyone fucking, you know, everyone wants this hype, new program, all this bullshit. Everyone wants, you know, but they're still, they don't know how to train. Yeah. It's like you can have the best fucking program in the world, but if you don't know how to train, you're lost. You're lost. You're, you're lost. You're really shit. lost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But back to the maximum minimums, man. Like, I just feel like, like now, like I'm just, I'm going to go, what's happening? It's sounding grisly as fuck, dude. What is it? I don't know. I think you just max it out too. Hard. All right. Keep talking. I'm going to go talking, back to talking. my personal training. But my deadlift, I'm going to talk about my deadlift. Because people want to, you know, people want to be, you know, they want to hear real life examples. Like, dude, how how are you, well, how many times you, like, do you deadlift a week? What's okay. your program? I'll tell you. Like, what are you doing? Like, okay. no, just just tell me. Okay, I'll tell no, you. I'm joking. Just but, for the viewer. Tell, tell, tell me what you've done in the last week for your deadlift. That's what I want. Okay, I'll tell you what I've done. I'll give, you, I'll give you an example, right? And then I'll talk about the principles I'm implementing behind the training. And bit of a fucking disclaimer. I know there's a lot of stronger people out there who are going to disagree with me and say, Abdullah, if you train like this or this, it'd be better. Sweet. We're not here to debate that. I'm here yep. to tell you what Go I believe it. in. Go what I believe in. I don't believe in what... I don't look at the strongest dude in the room. I need to do what he's doing. Like I said before, you see what he's doing and if you think it applies to you, you take the fucking... You take it mm. and then you apply it to yourself and see if it fucking works, okay? That's why lately when I've gone into approaching someone to help me with programming, I've just bitched out about it. I bitched out every fucking time. Yeah. Because I just can't fucking stand being in that position. C- coaches are like more like a collaborative effort. You yeah. say something, they bounce ideas, and then if you fucking feel like you need to do it, you do it. Okay? But back to my training. I, my training right now runs off a... It runs off a fucking... Yeah. Eight-day cycle. Yeah. Okay? A week's a made-up thing. Okay? I used to be so confined. Number one, I used to be so confined. To so ba- basically, there's eight days in your week. Your there's eight days week. in my training week. That's my. Tra- there's seven days in my work. There's you know. Yeah. You know, if there's yeah. seven days in my work week. Mm. There's eight days in my training week. Yeah. That's okay. You're allowed to have that. Yeah. Don't just think your training program has to be to a certain amount of fucking a seven day cycle. Some cunt made that up. I don't know who made that up. Someone comment and tell me who made that up. Right. <laughs> who made it up? That Gregory cunt. Eh? <laughs> it's Gregory, huh? It was Gregory. Okay, so I run off an eight day cycle. And the reason is I just couldn't fit all the work I wanted to in seven days, hands down, okay, without just dying, mm. all right? So first day, it's upper, lower, off. I mean, it's lower, upper, off, lower, yep. upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, off. So <laughs> lower, upper, off, like rap, lower, dude. upper, lower, upper, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? 
And the whole training is braced around building a minimum. Mm. Whole training. Now, every time I train, like I said before, it's about building the minimum. So what I do is, Monday, yep. I'll high bar squat. Yeah. Okay. I've switched to high bar squats predominantly just because... I feel like you can high bar squat more often than you can low bar squat, and you can get. And then hips, dude, it's a little. Uh, oh, uh, it's a bit taxing, yeah. man. Especially yeah. the way I low bar squat. Yeah. Like, good morning status. Circa like two thousand late morning. Look at that limb length, man. Like this ways. Yeah, huge. everyone complains about that. Oh, bro, like <laughs> you squat, like you tip so much. I'm like, can't. I'm six foot fucking two. I just, I'm actually six one. I just added a fucking. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a helmet. It's, it's a helmet. It's a, it's a helmet it's to the helmet, fridge. Bro. Like you, like like I said before, mm. I've never heard from a tall fucking guy. Mm. To tell me like to stay more upright because they get it. I've never heard mm. like I said before. I've never heard from a really strong guy who's stronger than me tell me to keep my back really do flat. Right yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But so I was high bar squat. Now I'm now I'm trying to think of longevity. Okay, I'm thinking. Are we all recording? What's wrong? It's always like that, bro. Yeah, it's line just, line it's just flushing. It's flushing. Line the blind down. It'll fuck up the um the colors. Oh fuck it. Who cares? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. So I'm thinking about that. So like mm. now I'm thinking longevity. I want to high bar squat more. Yeah. And I feel like with the tipping issue, if I can high bar squat really flat, mm. it's going to translate better into my low bar squat. Yeah, okay. And these are the principles. High bar squat, first day. Yep. Like I'll high bar squat. Fucking what else would I do? I'll high bar squat. I'll high bar pause squat. Yeah. I'll stiff leg deadlift. Yeah. That's it. Or, and I'll, cl- I'll clean and jerk. Yeah. Or not jerk, but I'll clean. Power clean, mostly. So, or I'll front squat. Yeah. I add the front squats in there if I feel good, right? And then next session, upper, I just do bench, overhead press, boom, 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 all that bodybuilding bullshit, yeah. go home. Next day I come in, it's my deadlift focus day. So I'll do deadlifts off the floor. Yeah. I'll do deadlifts off the blocks. Yeah. I'll high bar squat. And then I'll do deficit deadlifts off the floor. Yeah. Okay. And then the next day I'll come in, it's an upper day, but I'll still high bar squat. <laughs> so, you know, you high bar squat again. Yeah. And what I try and do is I try and beat my previous day because the previous day I do eight triples on high bar squat. Yep. The next day I'll come in, I'll do six triples, but I'll try and bump up the weight a bit. Yeah, done. Okay. And if mm. I can't bump up the weight, I just do eight triples. Mm, mm. I'm just looking for slight progressions on building the minimum. Mm. Okay, I'm not trying to push it. If I wanted to push it, I could do more weight, but I'm not trying to push it. I'm trying to build the minimum. It's not, it's it's not no, there's no longevity in that, too. There's no longevity in that. Okay. Like next you, day. You, you couldn't push that yeah. for like 52 weeks. Yeah. Okay. Next day I come yeah. in, it's a lower day again. I yeah. harbor squat. Yeah. But I also, this is the one day a week now I'm low bar squatting. So you've squatted three days in a row. And then when people come oh, fucking, fucking, <laughs> oh, you know, uh, well, not even that, dude. Now they're going to be like, bro, you only squat three days a week, bro. Fuck, I saw some kind of internet. He maxes out every fucking day, bro. Six days a week. I, Sunday, he, he's, rest. He actually, even on Saturday, he's, he, he body weight maxes out. You know what I mean? They, that's, mm. you know, they're not going to say that. They're not, they're not, people aren't scared of squatting every day now. It's more mm-hmm. kind of the cool fucking thing. There's more people are doing it. Yeah. More people are doing it. All right, so I high bar squat on that day. Yeah. That's my. Oh, I'm back to my low and upper mm. day. What am I doing now? No, you just squatted. You, you just did back to squats again. So oh, back, back to the low. It was the deadlifts yeah. and the squats yeah. and shit. So then you've squatted three days, pretty much three yeah, days. Yeah, right? yeah. I do the low bars on that day. I'll do high, like four reps, maybe eight sets, low bar. Yeah. Work, focus on building the minimum. Yeah. I'll do some high bar just to get some decent work in. Just a bit of volume maybe just to get my quads a tiny bit bigger. Mm. Maybe or just keep me more upright. Mm. And then I'll do a lot of fucking sets of deadlift. Yeah. Like the other day I did eight sets of four. Yeah. No belt, 220. Ooh. I know that sounds... Ooh. It's not that impressive. <laughs> <laughs> to some people it's impressive. To some people it's not. People go, eight sets of four, bro. That's fucking heaps. That's fucking heaps. It's not really... That weight for me now is like my minimum. Like Like... That weight for me now is my minimum. Like 220, bro, like get off me. Like I yeah. can hit that any day of the yeah, fucking yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I feel like 250 without a belt is my minimum any day of the fucking week. Yeah. And like if some come wants to call me out of that, I'll go in right now, yeah. right now and deadlift 250 without a belt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I've built that minimum. And then the next day is another upper day. I might do some snatch. I might do some clean. You know, so pretty much you, like you're doing a lot of lower body stuff. Mm. And you're doing a lot of upper body stuff too. You know, mm. you do upper body three times a week. You know, lower body but, pretty but, much but every now, fucking day. Now, 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 someone's going to make a PDF of what you just said. Like, this is Abdul's program. And like, cunt's going to burn out. Yeah. Cunt's going to burn out. Don't, like, you can't just transition to that. You have to learn how to train. Yeah, yeah. You didn't just wake up one day, one week and be like, I'm going to train exactly like this. You know what no, I mean? It, it evolved. You know what I mean? You've, it, evolved. it evolved. Exactly. And it's the evolution. It's the evolution. And huh? people have been asking, and, the, and, and that's, not, your, that's the only reason take, why I'm you not just take all the credit it for it. I'm not going to take yeah. all the credit for it. Like, yeah. bro, I, like, in that training program, mm. there's so many fucking. It's not even a program. My program is powerlifting. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. My program is powerlifting. Yeah. But the training is more like my plan to get good at powerlifting, if that makes sense. It's my, yeah. it's my path. 
Yeah. The way I go about the way the way I go about it, you know, training is mm. the way I go about becoming a mm. good powerlifter. Okay, and um, in that in my work my week of training, when I'm training, there's so many dudes there training with me. Do you know what I mean? There's fucking John North. I saw something from him. There's Eric Helms. There's Alberto Nunes. There's fucking Bryce Lewis. There's Ben Esgro. There's it's a fucking it's really like a thousand different templates to mm. train mm. in one. And I've just taken everything I feel that's necessary to get me better. Mm. I've taken it. Do you know what I mean? I've taken it. And, I've, and, you know, don't be afraid to be drastic with, you know, don't be afraid to be drastic on the stuff you do with training. Don't be afraid, yeah. you know. Yeah. If you feel like you need to squat every day, I'm not saying don't do it. But if you feel like squatting six days a week to a training max is going to improve your training, then fucking, fucking do, do it. it. Don't listen yeah. to me. Don't fucking listen to me. Mm. The only way you're going to be able to go into a training 100% mentally and just, uh, like 100% focus and low how to train is by trying everything because if you go into training going yeah. oh I don't know if that works better than this you're never going to be able to put 100% effort yeah. into what you're doing so you need to try everything you feel like you need to try try don't listen to anyone that's what I don't, like wait, that's wait, what wait, I like wait, about don't, doing don't, extended period don't just period. try it for a day either no. don't just fucking try it for a day man and then jump onto the next thing the next day don't try something for three days you'll be like oh that didn't work for me like we, we, yeah I think we are we got it hasn't made, hasn't made the sound yet. We've got a long life, dude. Like we've got a really long life, and if you if you really are invested in this game or any game, like you should be planning to do that for a long period of time. So you, you've got you've got a lot of time to sit out, yeah. Sit out, sit out like approaches and see if they work or not. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Yeah, a lot of time to sit it out. That's why I don't like the coach thing too much. Like I feel like there's like a really there's a couple like there's like one time that's really beneficial to get a good coach. Yeah, when you start. At, yeah, 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 yeah. Right when you start. And I feel like the coach will like, it's almost like going to school, primary school, you know. Yeah. They'll get you on their feet and yeah. then they say like, fuck off. Like, yeah. Welcome I, to the I real think, world, I, I bro. Think, I think any and good coach exactly should like school, do that That's though. like school, bro. Like, yeah. Like, and that's why so many kids fail after school. They don't realize that you're like, there's no person to hold your hand during life. But during school, you'd have it. And a good, a good teacher, a good coach will coach you to the point up there and go and but they'll reiterate the fact that like like you're ready to go mm. I had this like you, I, I want to talk like you're this. about to get pushed down to the reward and I had that with Eric Helms shout out to Eric yeah. Helms he was like I think you know enough now to go by and buy yourself yeah and it's like to them shout out to three mustard it's not a money making business man it's about improving dudes lives yeah. Yeah. so they improve your they take you up to the point where they feel like you can just yeah. manage yeah. and you can grow as like you can just do your own thing mm. go and since then, I've never hired another fucking coach, yeah. okay? I've talked to other people who are coaches and my friends and bounced ideas off them. That's just because, you know, it's cool to talk. Like, I like talking about training. I'm talking yeah. about it right now. Yeah. And I sometimes it's nice to have someone, you know, chime in on what you're doing. See, you know, get other people's feedback. Because mm. that's all like, th- that's so, life, bro. You need to take other people's opinions. You know, with a grain of salt, though. Mm, mm. You need to take what I'm saying with a grain mm, of salt. Mm. And especially with training. Like, there's so many fucking trainings always evolving, man. Everyone wants to talk about studies. It's like, bro, we don't have a study for everything. The latest studies come out. I love says, clean eaters this, who go, this. bro, like studies don't determine everything because clean eaters have that, get that in a sense that like just because a study says this doesn't mean that like in 10 years we're going to have something proving something else. You got to go with what you believe in. Yeah. And they clean eaters, some clean eaters who've tried to fix mm. their macros believe in clean eating 100% mm. so they're good at it and that's what they do. Mm. Um, I just want to talk about you talking like when you were talking about hiring a coach. I remember in year ten, I had a philosophy class. I did philosophy for like half a year, and at the time, I wasn't like it wasn't my thing. I had other things to think about, skateboarding and whatever else. Um, but I remember my my teacher. One of the things that stuck with me from that was one of my teachers says he he was thinking back. He was like thirty five, and he was thinking back to when he was in high school. And he's like, man, I don't remember a single bit of like a bit of like factual knowledge that I learned from high school. What I yeah. learned in high school was the processes that got me to where I am today. So I think that what you were just saying, like, like, yeah, the it's aspect, the aspect of how a, do you problem solve? The aspect of a good coach is going to teach you the skills how to problem solve later down the track. Because what I said before, like, you got to remember, dude. Like, yeah. when you accept the fact that, like, training, like, you know, always remember what are you training today? I'm weightlifting. I'm yeah. powerlifting. You know, some. You know, some people don't see that. So when they hire a coach, they want some elaborate plan. But most good coaches, they know, bro. They know it's more mental than physical. They yeah. know, like a good coach will be like, the programming's easy, bro. But I'm gonna, we're gonna go together on this journey for six months, and you're gonna be faced with all these obstacles. Mm. And then I'm here to teach you how to problem solve. I'm here to teach you how to troubleshoot. I'm and and here then to inform you on the, the basics that you don't know. I'm not gonna fucking spoon feed you, yeah. like a little fucking child. And then I'm n- here near to the guide end, you. So then in the end, you've learnt. And you know what I mean? It's the same with real life. 
You do any mm. hazard, hazard, you know, you do, you know, you do any fucking swims, any of that shit yeah, you do at work, yeah. all the hazard analysis, you know, the same ones from the food industry, the same one the construction industry. It's all the same mm. methodology. Yeah, it is thinking. exactly the, the same. The thing with engineering, it's just, it's just problem solving, dude. 90% yeah. of everything you do is problem solving. Mm. And a good, um, where camera's turned off, we're going to keep going. And, and fucking, the main thing is, you just need to learn how to problem solve and a good coach will teach you that. I know we just went on for, on a tangent there, but, um, all right, you fucking you do your fucking thing, mate. Give us, yeah. What about problem solving? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Go, go. Let's go. Let's roll. Boom. We're back on. Back to some quotes. Another quote. I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this, but I heard a read a quote by Noam Chomsky. I think it is, and he says, um, so I'm paraphrasing here. It says, the difference. <laughs> difference, the di- difference, difference, difference. Um, there's two differences to our like. There's, there's two aspects of our ignorance. One is um, fuck, dude, I butchered this. I, I was thinking about it when I was changing the battery, the and now I've forgotten. Wait, 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 give me one second. I want, I want to wo- like word for word it. Okay, you keep talking. I'm gonna find this. All right, word for word. I'm back on. All right. So maybe I'll go like I talk my my problem solving rant. Okay. And the thing about how training is very simple, the only thing you ever really need to know how to do, Tamas, is learn how to train. Learn how to train for what you want to do and then every single training session is powerlifting, weightlifting, bodybuilding, okay? Yeah. There's specific things you're doing in that workout, but what you're doing is your powerlifting. This is it. This is the one. Right, no go. Chomsky. Uh, so the quote is, Our ignorance can be divided into problems and mysteries. When we face a problem... We may, may not know its solution, but we have insight, increasing knowledge, and an inkling of what we are looking for. When we face a mystery, however, we can only stare in wonder and bewilderment, not knowing what an explanation would even look like. Yeah, so the way I interpret that, dude, is that like when you're talking about coaching or getting further into your, your, your training routine, is you, all you're doing is just acquiring the skills to turn all these mysteries, things that you have no idea how to handle, yeah. back into problems so you can deal with them. You know what I mean? You're a sick that, That's what life is, You're dude. Life cunt. is turning mysteries, things that you have no idea about, into problems. So I, w- I just want to put this into like a trade sense, okay? okay you- I've been a Sparky for like five years now. And at the start, I'd look at something and I, I-, I actually have no idea, not a single clue how it would work. And now, like... I don't think I, I like. I don't think I look at things and think now like I know how they work. But I, I have the confidence in myself to look at something and be like, yeah, that's made up of that. That's made up of that. That's made up of that. That's a problem, and I, I, I've got the skills to sort that out. You know what I mean? I've I've been educated enough to approach True. it in a way that I can work it out. And it's when not, you're at work, you it's, know, not, it's not. It's been demystified in a sense. You know what I, mean? I, I You know, it's been demystified. You know, thinking about that now, cause yeah. This is what I love about the podcast. It's like yeah. very interactive. Yeah. Like you teach me something, and I think about it, and I give. You know, it's not. There's nothing of this planned. People. People, you know, people give us, well, might give a shit and be like, oh, you know, stole here, you know. You talk about the same thing, but it's like, bro, this ain't fucking planned. You know, this ain't planned. We're just rolling off the top of our head, so you can exactly excuse right. me if I fucking repeat something. Yeah. I'm just jacked up. And we're going to contradict ourselves over I'm and over not, again. But, like, you just deal with it. that's just what you do you know when what you I mean? talk. Deal with it. I saw, like, this is another step friend. Mm. I saw what I fucking loved. I loved watching podcasts, and I'm fucking doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Mm. How many fucking people do you know who are all ideas? I'm an ideas man. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Mm. They never fucking do it. But I've been thinking about I've this, but I'm not sure. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. I saw the podcast game was weak in Australia. I fucking I seized it. Mm. Now I'm doing podcasts. Every mother like you know what I mean. Now people now people see me doing it and go fuck like I've always wanted to do it. Do it, man. And do it. Your man. ideas are do fucking. It. We want to hear it. You know, everyone wants to yeah. hear what you have to say. Yeah. Exactly. Like the more people who stand up and talk about what they want, mm. the more information I get to hear. How exciting is that? The more people who talk about training, I go fuck. Tamas you, has you, really you, you put it out. And I, you, you just and suck, just get them back, man. dude. You just just suck it back. You suck it back. You know what mm. I mean? What were you saying about the fucking about what? You were talking, dude. I zone out. You were talking, dude. But well, also another concept. I'm just going to start listing off concepts. What I like about training, yeah, go from different people. Go, 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 go. The thing I like about CrossFit, yep. is the mobility. Yeah, and I think it's been very overhyped. Okay, yeah. but I like mobility and mobility in a sense that mobility specific to what you do. Okay, if you're a powerlifter, you don't know the mobility to overhead squat mm-hmm. with fucking like that with your fucking you know pistol. Okay, if you're a, uh, a weightlifter though, you need yeah. that. If you're a CrossFitter, you need that. Mm. Okay, but I love the fact that. They've made, they've really fucking made mobility popular. Mm. Because at the end of the day, what keeps you in the game longer is what fucking, is what's going to help, man. Like, how, how long can you train for? How, you know, that thing. Mm. So that weightlifting is probably, like I said before, it's where I fucking, I just live for all the concepts of weightlifting. Max effort 
like when I say max effort, like you have to really listen to what I'm about to say. I don't mean maxing out all the time. Max approach. It's exact. You fucking sick cunt. Dude, dude, max dude, approach. Dude, dude, dude. It's max it's approach. It's exactly. It's like you have to like take it literally. Max effort. The maximum amount of effort you can apply to weightlifting, to powerlifting, not too much fucking. It's the max effort, okay? And that covers a broader range of things: recovery, yeah, yeah, training, yeah, yeah. sleep, nutrition, all that bullshit, okay? Mm. It's max. It doesn't necessarily. Don't take that in a, in the sense. I've got to max out on bench every day. I've got to max out. No, if you're doing a fucking eight rep set of curls, that's max effort. If you put, if you, if, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. if you approach that with max effort. Your max effort. And it doesn't mean you didn't have one left. It doesn't mean you had none left. It doesn't mean it was all that failure set. But you put the most amount of effort into that fucking set. That you could And that's give. max effort approach. And like you'll realize your training just goes through the roof mm. when you, you know, like I'm not saying go through the motions because never, I've never gone through the motions. Yeah. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's like get that get one in there, like, yeah, I'm doing I've never had a workout in my whole fucking life down. where I've gone through the motions. Bro. Mm. That's just me. I've never mm. done that. But... My training did go to the next level when I approached everything with max effort, you know. Sometimes you get so, oh, I'm doing eight reps of curls. I'm doing eight, ten sets. I'm doing ten reps of squats. And, like, you, like, like you'll do them and you'll get, the, you'll get the, the set done. Yeah. There's no way that you won't do the set. Like, there's no way I'm not doing the set. But, you know, there's a difference when you're like, all right, I'm giving it max effort. Mm. I'm going to build the minimum on my form right now. You know, you always got to apply the max effort to building the minimum. Yeah. Right now, in this workout, I'm doing, heat, like, triples on deadlift. I know that like I'm going to be able to get the deadlifts done, yeah. but I'm going to apply max effort as if I've got one set or one rep to every single set. Mm, mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Same, same thing with everything, man. That's so, it. You, dude, that's, that's the mindset max, you need I to think, have. I think it's the yeah, so, max you know, approach, as I just max said. Approach. You know, max, max approach. Max approach every set. Like People always say approach every, like sets. Like sets are just clusters of singles. Yeah. Okay? And every single... Drew this into your head. Every single needs to be max effort. Okay? Yeah. So if you're doing eight reps, you're really doing eight singles max effort. Because yeah. sometimes you get so taken back by the sets. Fuck, bro. I'm going to do five sets of ten. Really, you're doing 50 singles. Yeah. Approach that like 50 fucking singles and max mm, effort every mm, time. Mm. Your training is going to go through the roof. Yeah. Okay? Another concept I learned yeah, is, okay. you know, everyone... Now, everyone... Overreaching has become a very popular term, right? Fuck, I'm getting jacked up, puffed out. Shit, fuck, you know, I need to cut back on the food. <laughs> I need to cut back on the food, people. But everyone talks about overreaching, okay? Everyone talks about overreaching, deloading, all this bullshit. It's become very popular. Everyone's understanding it. And like what I said before, is like when you start, start thinking about building the minimum, you know, fatigue goes out the window and you're okay with overreaching and feeling like shit, okay? But when I applied, I never... I would say that I like to train overreached the whole time and then deload, but I feel like sometimes deloading mm. takes away from the minimum. How many times do we see it with athletes who go, oh, I feel fucking like I love taking a deload. What's up with the fucking, what's up with that? I think I'm, am I maxing out the thing? Check me, check, am I maxing yo, out? Yo, yo, yo. Am I maxing out? No. What about now? Yeah. All right. So we see it all the time with, we see it all the time with people who train, man. Or oh, I went into the deload. I felt fucking sick. I'm like, yeah, sweet. Rest time, rest time, rest time, rest time. I came back. I, I'm victim of this too. Um, what happened, dude? And I was weaker. You know why? Because yeah. you, lose, you, lose the, you lose the minimum. Mm. Your maximum might still be the same. Unless it's a meet. I feel like a meet, you need a, t- you need a deload. Yeah. But, but you're um, exercising the maximum there, not the minimum. You're exercising the maximum, anyway, not the yeah. minimum. But like when you come back from a deload, I feel like your minimum's dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your I minimum's mean, dropped because yeah, yeah, you yeah, take yeah. the time yeah. off. You've allowed your body to rest. There's no such thing as resting. Like I yeah. said last week, there's no such thing as a rest day, bro. Mm. There's no such thing as sitting on the couch. There's no such thing as not training. Everything's training. Mm. Life's training. Mm. Everything you do every day has an effect on your life and mm. life in turn is training. Mm. You're training to get through it's life. It's about being apocalypse okay. ready, man. That's, huh? It's about being apocalypse ready. It's about being back, apocalypse back, ready. Back it's about being high carb. Back, back yeah. to that stuff. Back to that stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, if I was just a goat, like, 90% of people sometimes, yeah. we're all victims of being goats, you know? I'm a little shit sometimes. <laughs> all right? But I don't deload no more. Mm. Like, I don't deload. I taper. I would say taper. Like, when I say taper, I still mean high percentage, but I, dro- I drop back on the amount yeah. of work. Yeah. But I still hit my minimums. Like, like, last time before my meet, I still hit my minimums. Because to me, like, the, the aspect of a deload, it's just not practical. Let's be real. It's not practical for me. Mm. You know, it's not practical. I'm going to deload right now. You're still at work. Mm. You know what I mean? You're not on the couch doing yeah, nothing. Yeah, You're still yeah, at work, yeah. bro. You're know still I mean? moving. You're still moving. There's never such thing as a deload. So what I, 
I employ you to do this next time. Next time you go for a D-log, you finish yeah. your training cycle, pick out what your minimums are. Find, try, and, try and guess roughly what your minimums are. Come in that week, almost like your opener on, yeah. at a meet. Yeah. Come in, hit your openers, go home, every single workout. So if you yeah. don't go from squatting four days a week to just doing one squat session. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Come in and hit your minimum. What your minimum would be for that session, go home. And I guarantee you, if you do that and you don't completely back off on the volume like most motherfuckers out there tell you to, you're going to come back and you're going to have an increased level of performance. Mm, mm. Okay? Because you still kept that minimum. Yeah. You know what I mean? You still felt that heavy. Yeah, There's yeah, something yeah. about feeling. I see all the time people just, people mentally shut off when a heavy weight gets on their back. They lose the killer instinct. Okay? You have to have that killer instinct and it has to be trained every fucking day. Mm. Fatigue, no fatigue, feeling good, feeling good. How many times do you see people lose it mm. mentally, not physically? I've trained with so many fucking people who just don't know how to rip the head off the line. Mm. It's a fucking skill, dude. Mm. Mm. Shout out to Johnny Shankle. It's a fucking skill. Learning how to like, like act, like, mm. n- like it put, do, learning how to train max effort is a fucking skill. Max effort and ripping the head off a line, they're the same fucking thing. They're brothers. Mm. Okay? They're brothers to the same mother. Same fucking thing, bro. <laughs> Same, max effort is ripping the head off a line. Mm. Ripping the head off a line is max effort. Okay? Fuck, soon I'm going to get the Asians next door coming in and fucking <laughs> sitting down like with their legs crossed and shit. Fucking going, fuck, you're a legend. That's wizardry shit. Okay? Get that through your fucking head. Okay? And like... Let's relax. What I'm trying to say... What I'm trying to get across to the viewers... Yeah. My friends... We'll call them friends. Well, that, that, that's true. Because that's anyone, anyone who takes time out to watch this shit... You guys have given up your time to listen, listen to the shit we're talking about. And we've, and this, we've, we've and taken this, our this, time. This stuff happens all the time. So we're just basically including you in the conversation. Yeah, exactly. If you've got stuff to say so back, gonna say hate it. it, love it. People say will it. fucking hate it. But, you know, I'm just saying what I want to say. Yeah. But what I'm trying to get through to you is, with this training, whole training game yeah. thing is, don't just, don't just take stuff as cement. Don't just take stuff as, that's it. Mm. I have to deload. Think about it's this, been Rick, 10 think weeks. About this. I, how, have, how no, it, I have to back off on the volume and the intensity. Yeah. I have to do this. I'm not a weightlifter. Why would I do that? I'm not a crossfitter. Why would I do that? Take, you know, like I say, man, follow the people you like and just start sucking info it. from them, bro. Because think about this, dude. Like, how many good, like, let's say, weightlifting coaches do you know? You, you can come to mind straight away. Yeah. More yeah. than five. More than yeah, five. Easy. More than five, more than ten. And they all Way probably more. have different ways or exactly. approaching the way they do. You know what I mean? So there's not one, one oh, yeah. good definitely way or one, one oh, best way to do everything. Definitely in weightlifting, man. Everyone's not, got... Everyone, you know... But even, can't be like, don't hit it off your hips. Triple extend. You know, yeah, you're doing yeah, it wrong. Yeah. You're doing it wrong. There's no, there's no wrong way to do it. But, but even... Like, let's put it back to your like, way. A lot of people, how you like, do it. When I said it, it's like... Like, talk about bodybuilding. Like, how do you, Like, grow any guns, dude. Like, grow any biceps. Like, getting bigger biceps. Probably a billion ways to do that. You know what I mean? But everyone wants to know what's the what's the one best way. Every single good bodybuilding coach will probably tell you a different fucking way. You know what I mean? Like every single one. No one Every way. single one, exactly. There's no, there's no one way. But what? Like, yeah, there's no one way. And anyone who tells you there's one way is a fucking idiot, mm. man. Because if you look at the spectrum of how many t- ways people get strong, it's fucking insane, dude. It's fucking insane, man. You think about how weightlifters get strong. Think about how crossfitters get strong. Think about how bodybuilders fucking get strong, mm. bro. Every single way works, man. You can get strong doing 15 reps if you want. I don't need a study to tell me that. Mm. You know, you can do it. You know what I mean? It's just about max effort. Mm. That's what training is, man. If you can take three fucking whatever, if you can take anything from this fucking podcast today mm. about training, I know people want to go, oh, what about what about off the blocks and you know get really into the minutiae yeah, of training? Yeah. What includes this? This is what improves training. Maximum, me, yeah. minimums, yeah. fatigue. Yeah. There's one more thing. Max effort. Yeah. Four <laughs> fucking things. Max effort, minimum, fatigue. Yeah. Keep going. And maxes. So max, min, fatigue, max effort. Okay, that's what builds a fucking world champion. Because when you fucking appreciate every single one of those four things, mm. you learn how to train. They're the four. They're the four fucking keys that are going to allow you to train. Mm. Okay, everything else like recovery and shit, it's just a part of the circle. Mm. But they're at the center. Okay, mm. fatigue mm. is at the center. Mm. Okay, fatigue and building the minimum go hand in hand. Mm. All right, max. But max e- everything effort, else is wrapped up in those. Max effort yeah. goes into everything. Max mm. effort goes into maxing mm. out. Mm. It goes into the minimum. Mm. It goes into the fatigue. Mm. You know what I mean? How fatigued can you be? Yeah. And it's just like, I'm not saying go search for fatigue, but if you're like, I so laugh when some kinds, so I see all these dreamers, bro, you know, have a pep to their step when they come to the gym. They have yeah. a pep all the time. They have a pep. They, they haven't, they don't realize how fucking tough training is. Yeah. And people always get, and I'm, I know people want to relate to this because people always get so like, I feel like, like sometimes they don't want to voice their opinion because they're not strong. Mm. You know, 
they don't want to get behind a mic and do a podcast because they're scared because they mm. only squat 140. Mm. They only deadlift 200. Mm. You know what I mean? They feel like people, like I said before, they only feel like people are going to take what they say as legit if they're at this certain level. Yep, yep, but yep. it's like, dude, what you have to say is really important. Yeah. What I have to say is important. And the only way you're going to learn is by taking stuff from other people. So if you've got something to say, fucking say it. That's mm. we're a separate talk. But they're the four fucking things I feel that build people. And if you think about anyone who you know yeah. who trains legit, all the top weightlifters I know, all the top powerlifters I know, they realize that. Mm. They'll be the first ones to tell you they say that like 80% of the time they hate training. Mm. Get used to it. Training sucks. Mm. Okay. They'll say they're fucking, you know, they'll say, that you'll never see them walk into the gym and go, it's max out, bro. Oh, unless that's what you, unless you like, unless that's what you're doing, like the same yeah, way yeah, if you're maxing yeah. out the clean jerk and snatch and shit, unless that's what you're doing. But you'll never see some, one of them go off the plan. You'll never see one of them come in and say, let's go max. Mm. You know, let's, let's, let's keep it a powerlifting. You'll never see a, a good powerlifting come into the gym and go, we're maxing out in the back squat right now, if that's not what they're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? You'll never see them do that, bro. You'll never see them do that. Mm. They're always approaching the training like, let's build. Mm. That's how you need to approach it. Let's build. Mm. Building blocks every day. Mentally, physically, you need to build the blocks. All right? Yeah. What about you? You got anything to say? No, I'm just fucking listening, man. You're listening. listening. See, I'm he's listening. getting jacked this up. Is, I'm, I'm just listening, dude. He's getting jacked up because I got. It's, my, it's it's just us talking. It's just us talking, and he's like, I, these, these, these are ideas. I'm not looking at the time and shit. I don't give a what, fuck. What? How long have we been going for? An hour now. We still we still we'll do we're like, like we'll five minutes we'll, we'll, and then we'll, we'll talk to an hour. Man, we've got so much more stuff to say. Though. I got so much more. Well, stuff fuck, to we say. do. We are we are doing another podcast next week. What are we doing next week? Quickly, just what are we doing next week? Canberra next week. I'll be happening. We're gonna drive up. I'll be driving to Canberra to catch up. Yeah, with a dude who an Olympic lifter who owns gym. And I think that's sick because that's the direction I see the podcast going. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, I've taken this off other people. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm doing yeah, what yeah. I think's cool. I see other podcasts are doing and thinking like, fuck. Dude, but, but, dude, but dude, dude no, no new idea Australia is so original. far behind, bro. Yeah. You know, you, I got, I've been to America. Their community is on another level. We don't have that community. Yeah. I don't care what anyone fucking says. We don't have the community. Yeah. We don't have the podcast. We don't have the YouTubers. But, but the people who do have, have community, have dude, are really restricted is, is in like, they've got their little core yeah. and they don't want to be friendly to other people. Yeah, that, yeah. That's how it seems. You I want to spread the community, You know what I mean? No one wants to like. Be like, oh, he's a cool dude. Let's let's, let's go. Like, let's just, let's just I want to be about. the let's cunt. I want to be the cunt kicking down doors. I want to be the cunt in everyone's gym. I want to be the cunt bringing everyone together and trying to, you know, take the weightlifting yeah. lot, take the weightlifting lifestyle, take the powerlifting lifestyle, take the CrossFit lifestyle, blend it all together and say, fucking, this is what it's about. It's about training. It's about learning how to train. Yeah. It's about community because being in a community and learning yeah. how to train it goes one in one. Yeah. If you have a good community, eventually you learn how to train. You know, Done. you know what I mean. Because mm. if you surround yourself with good people, who generally know how to train. They'll teach you how to train. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean. Surround you. Always be looking for that next. So that osmosis effect, man. She just rubs off on you. She, you know I don't mean? care, man. She like, just rubs I off. Never, on you. I always was so internally motivated, mm. especially when I was doing bodybuilding, mm. that I was like, bro, I can train by myself every day. Like no one's gonna rub off yeah. me. Like I'm the sickest cunt. Like I'm the sickest cunt. Like mm. who's gonna rub off on me? That's how I used to approach it. I was such a naive little fuckwit. Yeah. Then I realized that like people do rub off on you, whether mm. you like it or not. Mm. Whether you like it or not, friends, training friends, it, it, they rub off on you and you just have to accept it. Mm. So if you know that people rub off on you yeah. and bad people rub off on you in a bad way, good people rub off you in a good way, find the people that rub yeah. off you in a good way. Improve you. You need to find people to improve you and it's going to improve your training. See, what like back, back to the training mm. thing, people like the whole point of this podcast was to try and get across the message that try, like people always try and, they try and they're so picky. You know, my deadlift, I'm, I've got weak hip, that's why I'm not looking it out. But, you know, that's not, that's, that, yeah, that contributes. Mm. But then they don't know how to train, you mm, know. Mm, They'll mm. try and, people who don't know how to train will be like, I need to do block deadlifts. It's like, bro, learn how to train. Yeah. Learn how to fatigue, max, min, max effort. Done. Then, when you've got all them things in place, look at the small details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at the small details. But you need to have the foundation there, okay. It's like cunts going to sub shops and they go, give me the special creatine. You know, I want the special stuff, man. Give me the special stuff. I want the special make, stuff. The give me the special, special stuff, stuff that's going to make me jack. You know, I, I want to overthink it. Mm. I want to overthink my supplement program. I want to yeah. overthink everything. Yeah. It's like, bro, and the cunt will look at you and go, "Do you take whey protein? What's that? <laughs> Do you take creatine one hydrate? What's that? No, nah, but I want the fancy shit in the back, bro. I want the fancy shit that the label says I'm going to get jacked real quick and I want to think about it. I want to do the research and say there was one study that they want that quick, you know, not the quick, yeah, but they yeah, want yeah. the special stuff because they think, they think that training is very, it's very, you know, specific and a good, mm. you, know, you know, very, in, like, so many different yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. things. Like, Which I, is I, true. I, I, I want a 13% program, blend of good, case and yeah, whey and soy. Like, yeah. that's what I want, man. But I need a good that exact program blend. coach, will mm. just, they'll tell you straight up, 
programming. Mm. I can write your program in ten seconds. Bro. Mm, mm. I can write your program in five minutes. Yeah, done. I can write your program in ten minutes. Mm. I, you know, but what I can show you, what I can help you with, is I can try and teach you how to problem solve. Yeah, I can try and teach you how to train. Mm. I can list off. I can teach you how to train under fatigue. I can teach you about maximums. I can teach you about mm. minimums. I can teach you about how to train everything mm. max mm. effort. And I took max effort. I applied it to my life. You know, I said, why? I now I give max effort to everything. How many times at work do you find yourself going, "Fuck, I hate this shit." You know what? I'm not about that. I'm about max effort. I'm about. I'm just gonna effort. fucking kill this. I'm gonna like I'm, this is shit. I've done some crazy shit. I've done some crazy shit. I'm yeah. like, and I've I've pride myself on it, yeah. doing it well. Yeah. You know, I've had clients be like, "Oh, bro, we love you. We would love to hire you." But I work for a laboring agency. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. All the time, they love you. They love you. Love you. You know what I mean? Because it's just max effort. Mm. You got to learn the concept of max effort. And I'm sure there's a thousand. Oh, people. Uh, oh, Abdullah, oh, like, what's your reps and sets? I can tell you my reps and sets. 10, 10, 8, 8, 5, 5, mm. 3, 3, 1, 1. 10 weeks right there. Done. Fuck. What do you mean? I thought you work off this crazy percentage that goes up one week and down one week. I'm telling you right now, I'm about to get real arrogant. I feel sorry for the kind of 105 who said the deadlift record. Because in December, I'm going over 300. You doing it? And the only reason I can say right now into the camera mm. in public... In public, dude. Yeah. Let's get, be real. People are going to see this and go, Abdullah's a fuckwit. He's not going to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. People said I wouldn't deadlift 600. This year, two seventy. Mm. I did it without a belt. I, I said it to you last week. Like I two did weeks it, ago, I did, you're, yeah. like, you're like, bro, I'm gonna go in and go, go see <laughs> yeah. what I can do. I'm like, dude, you're not gonna, you're not even gonna pull two seventy. <laughs> yeah. You pulled two eighty. Yeah, I did it without a belt. Yeah, you know, and yeah. cunts gonna be, oh, you didn't do it properly. You didn't do it properly. It's not on me. I did it without a belt. Mm. And the only reason I'm standing behind you right now and saying I'm going over three hundred in December at one hundred and five, under one hundred kilos, by the way. Mm. Let's be real. Hopefully around ninety six, ninety seven. The only reason I'm saying that right now is because I know how to train. I've got confidence in the way I train. Mm. I got confidence mm. in the fact that I'm a powerlifter. Yeah. You know, when I go in the gym, I'm powerlifting, bro. Mm. I'm a, I'm all about that max that max effort. I've got that confidence in saying that, and like, pff, you know what I mean. Now it's just about I know what I have to do. Mm. I just have to powerlift. Mm. <laughs> Sounds crazy. It's all about max effort. Mm. How much effort can I put into this thing? Mm. Very rarely, the more effort you put into something, the less the less you get back. Let's be real. The more effort you put into training, the max effort approach, the more you get back. Mm. It's not some diminishing... There's diminishing returns, obviously. Like, if you go from eating 1,000 calories to 3,000 calories and you're on a surplus, obviously, you're going to get more back. Yeah. But there's diminishing returns, but you're always going to get more back. You can't tell me the more you focus on training, the worse you're going to get. Out of training, you're not going to get better at a shit job by approaching it half-ass. Exactly. That's the exact, exact, exact exactly. same thing. I'm, exactly. I'm not gonna, you're not going to get better at fucking, I don't know, smashing down walls, whatever the fuck you do, by doing it at 60%. Exactly. You've got to be 100%. You're not gonna, it's and, 100% and lifestyle, be, bro. And also, Back the, be, the better you are at that shit, dude, the better it's going to be for you and the easier it's going to be for you as exactly. well. Mentally and physically. 100%. That's how you have to approach mm. everything. Because mm. if you approach everything with a half-ass attitude, mm. it, just, it just goes down here. Anyway, we're hopping on. We're hopping on. We've, we've, talked about this, we've talked about this for a bit now. Okay. We've talked about this for Wait, a bit. Wait, I've got one more thing to say. Yeah, keep going. Say. Keep going. All right. Yeah, Cruise. exactly. No, go. And so many people make money off this special concept. You know what I mean? The special concept. I see it all the time. People just... People conform to like, you know, you know, I'm not saying that, that RPE things like, you know, but think about how many coaches now do RPE and they make money off it. Mm. Because they're taking advantage of people want, you know, they think there's a special way to do things. Like, and you can't blame people. I've been like that, bro. I've been, bro. I've been like that with DUP and stuff. I've yeah. always got Ben Escrow yeah. to do my DUP thing. Nothing against what they do. I think it works. Yeah. But I feel like I've got so much more to learn by myself. Yeah. Yeah. You know? There's no, there's no secrets in anything. There's no secrets. You want to know how to fucking get strong? Get strong. You mm. don't want to know how to train? Train. Mm. You don't know how to be a better powerlifter? Be a better powerlifter. Mm. It's that fucking mm. simple, mm. dude. It's that simple. And if you apply 1% common sense yeah. and approach everything with an open mind, but having an open mind in training yeah. and in life is really the key. Because if you have an open mind, eventually you'll get it. Mm. And you have to get it. And but back to you saying now, back in the day when you were younger, you were a lot, you were a lot more arrogant. You didn't listen to people. You, you ignore people. How much shit did you miss out on? You would have missed out on Everything, so much bro, shit. I missed out on so much. Like, like, now that's, I'm, that's just, I'm more if, arrogant if you, now. If you meet but a dude, I follow through. I'm a yeah, but if you meet a dude who who lifts far less than ah. you, don't just write off his opinion if he's got something else to say. Like, listen to him, man. Listen to him. Like, like think about it and be like, yo, like that's 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 insightful, man. I can I can I can use that. I can think about it. I can brew it. And then I can either... But also realize that a lot of people that are below you mm. will always try and find... like the, the quickest to find something that's wrong. Do all the yeah. pulls with a rounded back, bro. Mm. Mm. Bro, I deadlift 100 kilos of your max. Like, get off me. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know how to stink from someone who's actually really trying to help me or give me some... Crit- Even if someone's not trying to help me with the rounded back thing or someone who's actually just are giving me yeah. advice or what they think 100% or I find a fucking hater who doesn't even know how to train. I don't know. Mm. I don't take it to heart. We're going to wrap up this podcast right now. Yeah. All right. So, 
Give us a like. There's more shit we wanted to talk about. But fuck of, it, we'll, do, know, it we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. I think we've been gone for a minute. Plenty more. Plenty more. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with four things once again. Go for next it. time someone says, "What are you? How, what are you training today?" You say, "I'm powerlifting." If you're a weightlifter, I'm weightlifting. If you're a crossfitter, what are you doing? If you're bodybuilding, mate, I'm bodybuilding. What does that mean? I'm powerlifting. Okay, and if someone's like, "Oh, what does that entail today?" Oh, yeah, I'm doing kipping pull-ups. I'm doing all this shit. But yeah. the, the the general thing is, I'm I'm powerlifting. Yeah. Okay, I'm bodybuilding. That's the next thing you have to say to someone. The next thing you need to think about, think about. Don't just take as a 100 yeah. percent fact. Fatigue maximum, minimum, max effort. Minimum, 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 dude. maximum. You know all that stuff. Mm. And you know what I mean. Apl- don't just take them forth. Did we switch off? Keep don't just take them, take them forth. Yeah, don't just take them four things as gospel, like just for training. Because maximum, minimums, max effort, you know, and fatigue apply to every single facet of your life. You can't always just wake up every day and go say, how many hours can I work today? You have to build up to it. You have to be concerned. I'm going to go eight and a half hours today. And every week you build the minimum. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say. Them four things will make you a better human being. They'll make you better at training and you'll get further. Okay? All right, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. So them four things. Yeah. All right, open mind. You need these are the two, these are almost like we're not even talking to train. We're talking about the steps you need to go about training. Mm. You need to have an open mind. Okay, having an open mind will open more doors for you than anything in life. Mm. Okay, mm. that's that's really the key. Mm. You need to have an open mind. You can't just be sheltered. And so, you yeah, can't d- be d- sheltered. Don't, don't just if I don't go to university, I'm never going to make it. Yeah, you can't be sheltered. If it's not up here, I'm not going to be strong. If I do too much work, I'm going to get weak. Yeah. You have to throw out the association you put in your head with certain things that you've been brainwashed or told by society to believe. Mm. Less is better, you know. More mm. is worse. Mm. Don't overtrain. Don't wait. All this bullshit. You have to get rid of it and just learn mm. for yourself. Mm. You have to have that open mind. You have to have, learn how to max effort. Learn to rip the head off a line. It's a fucking skill, dude. I'm telling you, it's a fucking mm. skill. Learn to rip the head off the line. It's a, and you can't just go from not ripping the head off the line to ripping the head off the line. You just have to slowly start implementing them four things. Yeah. The fatigue, you know, the maximum. Live, in, live them four things when you train and your training is going to get better. Bad workouts don't exist. Fatigue doesn't exist. Reflect that, on those. I just want to say reflect, reflect on, on those, everything man. we said reflect today. Reflect on it. Reflect, reflect no, on everything. Re- next, time, next time you go through a deload, bro, and you don't feel like deloading, but you, 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 you understand the fact that you can't go 100% all the time, apply max effort to your deload. Go, how can I get the most bang for my buck out of my deload? Mm. Come in, hit those minimums. Mm. Mm. Keep the minimum alive. You need to keep the minimum alive. Come in, hit the minimums, go home, recover. Come back, you're still going to be fatigued, bro. I've done heaps. I've done two deload. I've done one deload in the last year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you get better results. No, nah, not for me, bro. Not for me. Mm. I've tried it before. I'm not saying that with a closed mindset. I've never mm. done more mm. deloads. I've done a deload every four weeks. I'll tell you now, though, I've gotten stronger doing one deload in the last fucking year and a half. You know what I mean? Mm. And it was more like a taper. You know what I mean? I was working for... The day I did that meet, I did, people, you know, oh, I haven't done this in a week, how many... Dude, it's like, bro, I worked 45 hours this week. Mm. I worked on Saturday. The meet was on Sunday. Mm. Do you think I give a fuck, cunt? Who would do that? I worked Saturday. The meet was on Sunday. We were smoking ciggies out the front of the meet. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's a fucking lifestyle, bro. Mm. I don't give a fuck. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a fucking... Get that through your fucking head, people. It's a fucking lifestyle. We so don't give a fuck. Lifestyle. Okay, we're going we're gonna to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. Okay, no... Thomas is cutting we're, me we're, off. No, we're going we're gonna to wrap up and then we're, we're ranting. All right. Okay, if you feel like, like there's someone you want us to podcast with within Australia, I'm going to America at the end of the year. I'm traveling the whole world, baby, and I'm podcasting with everyone. I'm going to podcast with Engineer. I'm going to podcast with every single cunt on the blog. But for right now, next week, hopefully we're in Canberra. I have a feeling in a couple of weeks we'll be in Sydney. Yeah. Might interview NPS. Yeah. Okay. Or Hayden Murphy. Got the Australian bench press record. Mm. He's got a lot of good shit to say. Shout outs to him. Mm. You know what I mean? Always interviewing people we think I find in stream, mm. I think you'll find in stream. People mm. who've got benefit rather than big arms. Big who ca- big big who? No one gives a fuck, bro. Yeah, like you know, you know what I, mean? I guess, but like man. if that's your thing, you care. Yeah, you know. Yeah. More should I say people who I who I find are just good at what they mm, do mm. and pick their brain apart. Because mm. I want to learn. And, we and, want and, you to and, learn. And, and we want you to get better. I'm after a few. I don't have, do I have a t-shirt brand, bro? Where's my t-shirt? Oh, let me just drop an imaginary link to go buy my t-shirts and give me money <laughs> for doing fuck all. I'm just doing what I love, bro. And if one day I make money out of it, so be it. So fucking be it. But right now, there's plenty of other shit I could do to make money mm, for mm. four hours setting this shit up. Mm. Plenty, but I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? I'm doing it. I just want to give you them four things on training, okay? Open mind. Max, min, fatigue, max effort on everything. Boom. Learn from... Ev- Go up tonight, look at the weightlifters. You know, wear yourself with weightlifters. Wear yourself with crossfitters. Don't, oh, this crossfitter deadlift that. Who gives a fuck, man? Who gives a fuck? 
It's if, it's, if it's not affecting you, man, like it's not affecting it's you. Stop stealing that shit, okay. eh? All right, that's it. I'm cutting it off. You got something to end with? Um, Lean Games Meals Instagram, Abdullah's in our Instagram. Shout out to Food Prawn. Um, yeah, shout out to Food Prawn, definitely. He's prawn. the man. It's Prawn. Fucking, like, oh, man. I wanted to drop some cut. knowledge from this morning, man, but we, can't, we don't have time. We don't have time. All right, so that's it. We'll talk about it soon. Okay, we might be in Canberra next week. I'm going to try and throw Abdullah out of a plane before we go up. Okay, we're doing Fingers we, oh, crossed. We're, we're, we're going to be skydiving and we're, doing the, you know. I'll film you, man. You know, I'll film you, bro. Man? Yeah, we're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing it. And also, this whole week, I'm max effort on everything. I'm max doing everything. So am I. Max effort I said it, bro. It's a journey to three, yeah. 310, bro. Journey yeah. 310 deadlift. He's gonna hit and it. I know what four things I need to do to do it. You know what I mean? Right now, my upper back's hurting, dude. I trained back <laughs> this morning. My upper back's on fire right now. <laughs> if I was concerned about fatigue and being a little fucking bitch, I'd sit down. I'd sit down to this podcast, but I'm not. I'm concerned about the max. I'm concerned about the min. I'm concerned about the fatigue. I'm concerned. Oh, fuck it. Let's cut this shit <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Let's Turn go the camera beat. off. Turn the camera off. Shouts to everyone out there doing it tough. Shouts to the Tino Chicks. Shouts to Lex Steele. Shouts to Jen Hayes. Shouts to that porn star that got bashed last week. Shouts to Skinny Cow. Shouts to that new fucking Pasito Diet Light. Shouts to Fruit Porn. Shouts to MPS. Shouts to 3DMJ. That's it.